Hi friends. Hello. Welcome back to our channel. I'm Gina. And I'm Dirk. And we're D&G Thrifts. D&G Thrifts. So it's in today's video, we are in Boulder again. Yeah. And we are sitting outside of the Goodwill, which we have never sat. We got an eBay notification. Well, it's probably just something I was looking at. Normally oh, it is. Not so a sale. Somebody else bid on it. So we're sitting outside the Goodwill. And we're and not the only one sitting outside the Goodwill. No, there's a cute little dog sitting across Patiently from waiting us. across from us. <laughs> yeah, he's sitting in the passenger seat. Pretty <laughs> cute. So we're going to take you into this Goodwill and show you around. This is one of our frequent places we go thrifting. So we're going to take you around and hopefully... Maybe find something that's just, I don't have big hopes, uh, the Boulder Goodwill, just because they're very expensive. Yeah. And I want to mention it. He didn't think we needed to mention it, but I want to mention it. So you're going to notice Derek is wearing a different coat than what he's wearing right now. Because it is, what is it today? 60 degrees today. Well, we forgot to film an intro the last time. So we're doing it today. <laughs> this is our intro. This is our intro. But for some reason, at the end of January in Colorado, it's 60 degrees and sunny. Yeah, it is. It's really nice. People are out in t-shirts. T-shirts. It's. Yeah. I mean, it's not, I don't think it's warm enough for a t-shirt personally, but you know, to each their own. So, uh. So we're going to, oh yeah, so you're going to see us inside the Goodwill. You're going to see him because I'm the one doing all the filming. Uh, so yeah, but you're going to probably notice that he's wearing different clothing. So that's the only reason I wanted to right. mention it. So, so yeah. It's not a wardrobe change before we go on. <laughs> no. All right. So let's go shop. I see. I never look in here. The little picture area. Six oh. no, Nice water So we always come to these racks here, these racks. This is all the new stuff that they just put out. So, but it's always really expensive. See, look, this is Eddie Bauer, $13.99. Just so expensive. But these are, we always come and look at these clothes just to see what's new. All right, so they have racks and racks of clothes. Racks, sorry if I'm going too fast. For instance, I would love to get this for myself. Gap, just a sweatshirt, really cute color. Gap, plain gap. Twelve ninety nine. No way, no way. But over here is where all their like housewares, knickknacks, and I do enjoy checking out all of these.
there's Derek. He's looking at mugs. Mugs are my department, but he's looking at the mug. Find any mugs? Anthropology. How much? $2.99. I'm kind of sick of mugs. What'd you find? Russell's Famous Hamburgers. Is that a local? No, it's from my dad. Oh, his dad's name is Russell. Someone dropped off. They went around the country. Went yeah. Elmo's Diner in Durham. Uh huh. Really nice if you wanted a nice heavy duty mug. They went to Russell's, uh -huh. which is I think on the East Coast. Uh huh. And then there's another one. This is Wilson's Diner in Massachusetts. Oh. Someone dumped off all their diner mugs. Right. They have a lot of mugs. They do have a lot of mugs. What a nice diner one. I mean, thick. Uh huh. The mugs you want. I think this is their Chicago mug. That's not a Starbucks. Oh, is it sh yeah. not worth anything? Yeah, it's been really washed. You can see. Yeah. I looked it up. I was just going to get this. I thought that you want the anthropology or the venom. Venom? Oh. <laughs> yeah. So you can either go nice. There's a lot of tons of mugs. I mean, if you need a mug, like hand done mugs here. Uh -huh. That's a nice one. Yeah. Studio pottery. Studio pottery. How much is it? $2.99. $2.99. Nice color. Yeah, it is a nice color. It's a nice mug. All right. Here's some planters. I haven't been able to find any good planters lately for all my plants, because I have a lot of plants. Here's a cat, it's a mug. You're perfect. So we are done here and we're gonna go check out. Derek's only getting one. one. Let's see it. Let's see the mug. One mug for your dad? Yeah. For his dad. There's no price on it. Yeah. I thought this was super cute. I love it. I would get it for myself. It looks vintage, except it's Talbot's Plus, so it might be really big on me. It doesn't actually say what size it is. The price isn't too bad. $7.99. Shocking. I like it. So cute. We're all back. Yep, we are back from thrifting. Today's Sunday, but we've been back since Friday. We have. <laughs> was it Friday that we recorded? Mm, or was it Saturday? No. No, it was Friday. We never go on Saturday. No, it was Friday. It was Friday. So we're back. We're back. Yeah, and well, let's... hopefully you enjoyed. Did you fix it? Yeah, I fixed it. We were off center. Okay. It's the OCD in me. Yeah. You're OCD? No. No. But I <laughs> no. do like it I symmetrical. I wish you were OCD. Probably. Okay. So hopefully you enjoyed seeing the inside of the Goodwill. And? And? The Salvation Army. No, that was last time. What? We didn't do Salvation Army this time. That was the last time. This time was the Goodwill. It's so hard to keep track. You have some like... Something in your beard. Let's just stop. <laughs> All right, now that we got that taken care of. Fixed. <laughs> it was just some lotion. Yes. Yes. Okay. So now what are we going to do? We're going to show what we picked up, right? We're going to show what we picked up. And we picked up, we didn't pick up like a crazy haul. No, like last week was kind of slow. Yeah. For pickups and for sales. Yeah. 
I guess people aren't donating and people aren't buying, at least not for us. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. So... But we did get some cool stuff, though. Oh, yeah. You got... He got something really cool. She really likes this. I really like... Well, of course I really yeah. like it. And you'll see why in just a little bit. And yeah. then also we're going to have a most ridiculous item. Most... We both found ridiculous items. So yeah. we're going to have that up there and you are going to vote and tell us which is the most ridiculous item. Uh, you have uh, the most wins so far. You've been... Yeah, we already determined that. I know. I'm just recapping. <laughs> okay. For the new viewers. Oh, yes. Because we do viewers. a thing that uh, we do the most ridiculous yeah, item. Yeah, we should actually explain that yes. probably every video. Because if you're new to the channel, we do something kind of fun. Is And I've never seen anyone else do this. No, so no one else has done this. It's unique to us. Yet. As far as I know. But when you go to the thrift store, you'll find all this great stuff and not so great stuff. And then every once in a while, you're going to find something that is just... You who would to yourself... That is just ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Who would have bought that in the first place? <laughs> yeah. Who made it? And then there's yeah. some guy that bought it yeah. and then decided, oh, this is crazy, and donated it to the thrift store. And so we see a lot of like just like, why is this even? What is this? Uh, so <laughs> that's what we do. We look for the most ridiculous item. And uh, once a week, we try to find it. And then we throw it up uh, so you can see it. And then you get to vote which of us found the most ridiculous item. Yeah. So that's what just that is. Just a little fun. Just yeah, it is something fun. a little bit different. Why not have fun? And hopefully we, our ridiculous items don't offend anybody. Because... Well, yeah, because <laughs> I'm afraid that it's like we'll find it ridiculous, but someone else maybe is a huge collector of this certain <laughs> item that I think is ridiculous. Yeah. So, so I don't please mean don't any. Hate us yes. if we choose something that you love. <laughs> right. It's it's they're usually silly items. Yeah. Is ridiculous. It's not yeah. like it's actual serious items uh so it's Except always that head scratcher that was a serious item. that was a serious uh that was a that was a thinker <laughs> yeah it was uh, a head scratcher it was a head scratcher but it was a silly head, yeah. head scratcher that but it does work people do yeah. buy it and i've seen them and i was aware of what it was it wasn't something yeah like, you knew what it was right away yeah i, I knew had what it was no clue i was like what is this thing i knew instantly you what it knew. was but it, it is ridiculous it doesn't mean that it's not functional it's just ridiculous or practical yes or it's like a gremlin a car they're practical everyone bought them but they're still ridiculous <laughs> <laughs> would i like to have one absolutely <laughs> i'm not saying i wouldn't take one what do they sell for these days oh i don't even know if they're even around they probably rusted out so bad there was one girl in my high school she had one and it was baby blue and it was i mean it was like I don't know. I never had one. <laughs> They're uh, kind of neat when I think back on them now, but right. then in the 80s, it was yeah, they, just kind of like, ooh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they weren't cool in the, well, actually the 70s. I think that was a late 70s car. Uh, but yeah, they weren't cool then, but they're totally cool now. Yeah. So. Yeah. So anyway. Anyway, let's move on and show some of the cool stuff we did pick up. Uh, and all this stuff, we're working on getting them, everything posted. I'm actually taking an intermission here to do this video. I was, I was... She was posting. posting. I was posting. I posted last night. I took a whole ton of pictures last night and I posted a bunch of stuff. I still have a lot of stuff I took pictures of to post. And I still have another pie. I haven't even touched this stuff yet uh, to take pictures. So we still have lots to yeah, post. Yeah, I have so. tons of stuff. So. I know. So, so keep watching uh, our Ebays. Uh, they're in the description. Uh, with uh, links. links so you can go to there and then uh, you can see if, if you see anything that you think is kind of cool what you watched check it out because uh, make us an offer who knows because we, we do deal so um, for sure okay why don't you show some stuff okay first off so Friday when we went shopping the first place we went was one of our typicals in Boulder it's the true thrift store mm -hmm. so I was the only one who got something no. there I got, uh... You got... Oh, yeah, you did get some stuff. Okay. Yeah. Never mind. Okay. This is what I picked up. Only one thing, and it was actually my best find all week. All week. So, it is this vintage Laura Ashley 80s floral dress. And you can see the vintage label. And it's just... I mean, it's hard to get in the frame. Right. But it's very long, very 80s looking. It's very Elaine from Seinfeld almost. 
You think so? Well, well kind of, because she wore the floral dresses, yeah. which were popular in the 90s. Yep. But this is, this is even It wasn't earlier. an all dress, but yeah. It's all cotton. Really nice. It was $7, and they sell for over $100. Yeah. So this was my, this was my best find. Is, is she still around, Laura Ashley? Yeah, I think, yeah, because I just uh, listed not long ago a pair of pajamas oh, okay. that they make. Pretty sure they're still around. Way back in the day, uh, Gina and I would go to, was it Value City or? Oh, yeah. Uh, That's really where my eBay started. Started. Where, so where it she all would, began. It was Val, I think it was Value City. It was, was it? Value City. Value City. It was kind of like a Kohl's or a. It's like a department store of discounted stuff. Right. It was like. Yeah, I think or, we talked about this before. Oh, did we? I think so. Well, she used to go and went to the, the linen section, and they would have these Laura Ashley bed sheets. All brand new stuff. All brand new, still in plastic and everything, and you pick them up for like 15 No. No? $4. Oh, $4. $5, $3. We would go, and we found this untapped gold mine. It was amazing. And I told my mom about it, and I got her into <laughs> selling on eBay, because I would buy these, like, well, they had valances for windows. They had pillowcases, pillow shams, bed skirts, sheet sets. You were at their mercy. Whatever they happened to get. Yeah, and I would, you know, pay five dollars, and I would sell them for sixty, seventy dollars. I mean, yeah. it was it was pretty incredible. It was only for a little period of time. Then. And you know, it's funny. So our son was born in 1999, and that was during that period where mm -hmm. I was like doing all this. So I had to take off like a month. I was off a month from going to Value City. And I remember I just could not wait to get back <laughs> in there <laughs> and hunt for more Laura Because you would just go through it and you'd reach in the back just to see like, if... Yeah, it was just so fun. It, it was. was so much fun to find that stuff. And I think I was the only one who was well, yeah, you, it. You, you knew about it. <laughs> I and, was the only one. But then they kind of just... It, you know, everything dries up, yeah. and so it Eventually dried up. Eventually it yeah. goes away, but it was a few years of yeah. that. It was pretty awesome. Laura Ashley helped us a lot back then. Yeah. So we, <laughs> Laura Ashley has a little, a special little place in our hearts. Yeah. <laughs> so, all right. Okay, so then when I was at the true thrift store, the only things I got, <laughs> I got a can opener. Which you've gotten one of those there before. I did, but this was a dollar. This is a USA Echo. But what I got this one for is because it has a can opener, but it also has this cool bottle top opener that's open or closed. So if you had like a bottle cap, like a, I don't even know if they even, yeah, like a, the plasticky caps, you fit that on there and you twist it and you can open it up. And if you want to, you can twist it back and put it on. And it also has a can opener. I got that just to have is in it the house. Vintage? Oh, yeah. It's made in the USA. If, it, if, if you see a bottle opener made in the USA, it's, it's vintage. vintage. Um, Might as well do that little guy. Yeah. And then I also, this was next to it. And it was just a cool uh, I like chickens. bottle capper. She likes chickens. So this is great for... Uh, so what are we going to use it for? You could put it on a cap to, I mean, obviously to liquor or wine. Or you could also put it on vinegar. It seems like it's smaller than... It is smaller because it's made to be reused multiple times. Oh. Uh, but it's a cool little... Yeah, it's cute. Cool chicken. Gotta figure out what's the use of I think it's I, ceramic. We don't drink wine, no. so we're not gonna. It's got a little chip there. Oh, it does. Well, that's okay. It's just but for us. We bought it just as a cool chicken. It was two dollars. A fun little folk yeah. art chicken. Yeah. So that's Bottle what we topper. got at True Value. True, not True Value. True, <laughs> true Value. <laughs> yeah, True Value Hardware Store. <laughs> we get all our stuff there. Yeah. Uh, we got it at True Thrift. Thrift. And then you went to. Then we went to the Salvation Army. Sal and I did not get one thing. The Salvation Army was having a huge sale. They were having a giant sale. Which we didn't know about. So we pulled in and it was like, we got lucky. We did get a parking spot. It was packed. But we went in and there, yeah, it was packed. And we're like, what is going on? All the clothing, except for boutique stuff, was $2.99, which is an amazing, amazing right. price. But we didn't get there no, we right didn't when get they there, opened. Right. So all the great stuff was gone, including that Adidas that I tried to buy. Oh, yeah. A couple days before, that someone was gone. that was gone. Yeah, there were some things I was looking for that I had seen, but they were too expensive, and I didn't buy them. So I looked; they weren't there. They weren't there. But I did get two things. Did you get anything? I did not get one thing. Okay. So I saw this there during the week, like before the sale, but I didn't get it just because it's 
I don't know. I think dress prices are $7.99 and I didn't feel like it was worth it. But this is a free people black and like a ivory colored floral dress, sleeveless, cute little ruffle, detailing at the neck. And it's free people. You guys probably know this by now. Size small, $2.99. And it's, you know, wrap style. It's got this it's wrap closure on it. So, so I got that just because it was $2.99. And then the other thing I got, which is also something I only got because it was $2.99, is this J. Jill denim, cute, like kind of boho-ish with the embroidery, and it has pink embroidery. It's real pretty. J. Jill denim, bigger size, size large, for $2.99 dress. So this should get like at least 30. They okay. Actually, they do pretty well. And even and J. Jill Plus size does really well. So if you ever come across J. Jill Plus dresses, you want to pick that up. So that's it. That's all we got from the Salvation Army. Yeah, from Salvation Army. Uh, and then we went to, where we get all this so stuff? So then this is Goodwill during the week. This is the Goodwill during the week. This is our Goodwill, our local one. Yeah. Which is where you got your really awesome clothes. Cool yes. Thing. I got a few things at the Goodwill, actually. Oh, you know what? I did get one more thing at Salvation Army, but it was for me. Ah, and it's pink. <laughs> yeah, tie dye <laughs> with a little embroidered heart. $2.99. Was no that a blue special. Spot? Oh, that's it's the tag. The tag. Well, I thought that was like, <laughs> But it's for me, ink. so right. it doesn't really matter. That's true. I never heard of this brand. It's June and Delaney. I don't know that brand. Well, I've heard of Delaney. I've heard of June, but I didn't know they but teamed up. But not together. I think they merged. Or maybe it's Jane, Jane and Delane, Delancey? Maybe it's Jane, Jane and Delancey. If you know, <laughs> put it in anyway, the comments. I should look it up. Maybe it's like worth a ton of money. Maybe. I doubt it though, but it's cute. This is my, this is me. Even yeah. he said, I <laughs> he showed it. He's like, well, that's you. That's not her first tie dye. Okay. Uh, so then we went to the Goodwill, our local one, and I got a few things. Um, Not me, I just have two things. Okay, so I'll show a couple. Uh, the first one I got, because you know I like vintage, uh, I saw this uh, Jay-Z's, oh sorry, Jersey's <laughs> by Russell. If you look at the tag there, uh, it's a vintage tag made in the USA, it's probably from the 80s, and it's Jolly Rancher on the back and it's a ring uh what do they call that ring uh ringer ringer t-shirt uh so it's it doesn't look like it was used like that this isn't washed out at all like it's been washed it looks really nice it's probably a freebie Is that a single stitch i guess on ringers you can't tell that huh? yeah you can't tell but i don't know i hear people saying it's single stitch it's a bigger size size 46 size so it's a, a nice big size and it was a uh, 3.99 it's worth it for me for a vintage uh t-shirt uh and then i got another uh this is a soccer jersey but it's not really a soccer jersey it's, a, it's an adidas t-shirt like a tribute jersey but it's really just a t-shirt uh and it's a size um, extra large. Extra large. I think this is the Real Madrid, uh, real popular. Uh, this should sell pretty well uh, to anyone that is into this league. I'm more into the Premier League, but this is the uh, other leagues. There's a bunch of leagues. They're all over the world. Two ninety nine. Uh, so that's going to be up on the thing. So why don't you show? Yes, I'll show a couple. So I found these. They're kind of like wide leg, they almost are like I want to say parachute pants, but right. they're not. They're like windbreaker. Windbreaker. Yeah. Pants. And they have they're like, like ski pants, pockets but down here. They are ski pocket, pants, I believe, the, but they're not insulated. Here. I should check the pockets for money because I didn't know. Oh, I'm sure that. they check the pockets for money. No, you remember can just feel there it. was like money. Oh, that, that one, one, yeah. <laughs> Something. I think they're ski pants, the way they look. But they're so thin, they're not well, lined. They would, they're ski pants and when it's not super cold. All the way up. Like, right. See this? This is the front of the That's pants. why I say they're ski pants. 
see, this is zippers, and they can zip all the way, all right. the way up to the top here, to the waist. Yeah, what's you, up with that? You would have your ski outfit on, and then you put that over top of it to keep the snow from getting it wet and oh. everything. That's what I'm uh, saying. They're not insulated. They're urban outfitters, but see, they're not really a ski company. No, they're not a ski they're a company. They're a clothing company. They're it's just like a fashion. It could be a fashion ski pants, so you could wear your ski pants and not get hot, maybe. Velcro. Yeah, those are made to go over top of pants and your clothing. I don't know. They're $4.99. So, they're a small size, though. They're like size two. The only trouble with those pants is like if you do wear them, you just all day long you're. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> even here, you can hear it. <laughs> yeah, you can hear it. <laughs> it's like wearing corduroy. <laughs> you know, you're always walk real slow when you have corduroy on. <laughs> Should I do this one real quick? Yeah, do that one. Oh. Okay, and then on the same day, another pair of, these are men's athletic style. I looked it up. The, well, the brand is called Viore. Velore. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, I forget, oh, so these are like a Chino. They're called Chino something. I can't remember. But I looked it up and they go, they, they do really well. I should get like 40 for these, 40 to 50. Mm -hmm. And they were $5.99. They're modern pants, a lot of guys yeah. wear. Yeah. Stretchy pants. A lot of men wear yeah. stretchy pants. But they're kind of athletic y. Well, that's a, it, I think yeah. it's an athletic brand. Could be. So watch out if you are a reseller. Viore. I was looking at, I was going through the racks and I saw this and I was like, hmm. Well, that, it just looks fancy. Mm -hmm. So I looked it up and sure enough. They're fancy pants. They're fancy pants. <laughs> <laughs> and if you wear them, you'll be a fancy pants. Uh, then I got two things that I got that if I don't sell them, I could wear them because they're my size. Uh, but I'm sure this will sell. This is a really nice Patagonia. This is super nice. Uh, and it's like see, a sweater. But look at the, it's like a. It's got like ribbing on it, like a sweater, mm -hmm. as opposed to like this is a fleece that I'm wearing currently. Uh, but it's a size medium, which is my size. Uh, it's a nice thick, and it's gray. I like gray. Uh, and it was uh, it was nine ninety nine, so it's ten dollars. You sure you don't want to keep it? I may keep it. You wear, is this a zip down? Do yeah, this you like is, like quarter zips. Are I have okay I have that? one like this. Uh, I'm okay with it. See, I don't like quarter zips as much. I I would prefer a full zip. Yeah. Uh, just because. Sometimes you're, then you're, to get it off, you're always right. struggling if, to. If you're hot, you can just unzip the yeah. whole thing. For Which I'm getting a little warm now. I but. know. <laughs> <laughs> it is kind of warm today. It is. It's, I think it's it feels like spring outside. Yeah, it shouldn't feel like spring right now, but it does. But I'm happy. It is. Yeah. Uh, I'm okay with it. The other item I got. Uh, this that was at was that at Salvation Army. It was. Look. This this was. I did get something at the he Salvation did. Army. It was the, like the last minute thing. I knew it. And the reason I got it was because it was $2.99. Uh, this is a spider. Uh, and again, it's another quarter zip uh, fleece. And it's actually my size. It's got flaws, though. Look. Oh, I'll You'll take care of that. that. I'll fix that. Um, but it's a core sweater. And they actually sell for a lot. Uh, and if it can't sell it, then I'll wear it. Yeah, but wasn't um, this one that had a little bit of paint on it, too, or something? We we're gonna wash it and see oh, right if that there. will come out. Yeah, we'll wash that. Yeah, we're it might that have right there it, and wash it. Two ninety nine, or yeah. It may or may not make it on eBay because of. But it will make it on me if it doesn't. Uh, and then uh, before I show you the, the really cool, cool item, there's two items I picked up, and these were kind of. Oh, these are kind of really cool too. I saw these. No, what do you think this is? Well, yeah, what do you think this is? <laughs> <laughs> it's blown glass. Blown, beat, each one is blown glass. These were both four ninety nine, so it was five dollars. Originally, I saw Would these. Would you have guessed it? Did you know? No. Originally, okay. I saw this and I thought it was like a bud vase. Because usually he's really good at figuring out stuff. But then I thought, well, that's not really a bud vase because there's like nowhere for the water or anything like that. Oh, so right, right. I took a picture and Googled it, and these are pen holders. Yeah, for your should, desk. We could get a pen. Well, here's a, here's a, a plant. A plant. So let's pretend, pretend that's a pen. a pen. You put your pen in there and it's at your desk and you have this really cool art glass blown. I don't think these are actually signed. I, I didn't see any signature anywhere. But um, 
it's it's a pen holder. Uh, Very cool. And they sell for like forty. Forty um, bucks a piece. A piece. A piece. So hopefully I can make like thirty dollars each on these, um, or twenty dollars each on them. I don't care. Um, Let me see yours. You look at mine. One's a little heavier than the other one, but it looks like there was a sticker that they took yeah, they, off. Yeah, exactly. And then over here it looks like there's a sticker of the manufacturer, but that was taken off. And, but the residue is still there. I'll clean that up. Um, they're cool. They really are. They're like they're paperweight pen holders, really, because they're, they're heavy. Yeah. So you could put that on your desk as a paperweight. How fancy is that? I could or, use that. I'm always losing my pen. You know, if you wore those pants. <laughs> You could have your fancy pants on your fancy pen holder yeah. and just be fancy all day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and now here's the cool item that Oh yeah. Okay. Gina Are you loves. ready for it? I used to buy and sell old radios a lot. And this is an old GE. Uh, this is a model 881, I believe. The actual, on old radios, they always put the schematics for the tubes. Uh, obviously, this has been torn off a little bit, but it gives you the model. Uh, I haven't even plugged this in yet. Uh, <laughs> Maybe you should do it right now. Uh, but it's got the on and off, or your volume down here. Here's your on and off. You pull it. It's on. You want to plug off. it in? And to turn that, this is really, this is the cool part. So you want to change your dial. You actually turn this to change the dial. So here's your volume. So you turn it on, turn it on by pulling it. Turn the, adjust the volume, but then you rotate it here to get to the channel you want. Originally when I got it, I thought this was the rotator for the channel and I couldn't do anything. Uh, do you have a thing to try it out? Well, yes. You'd have to undo that Oh yeah, I have to undo thing. this thingy. And then I can reach it over. Uh, if I can do it. Why don't you talk while I do this? <laughs> <laughs> what should I talk about? Talk about... Uh... Oh, you could uh, show my other old radio. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. So he's a radio collector. So look over here. This is Derek's. That's my first vintage. This is his vintage. first love. He loves this thing. Sometimes I think he loves this thing more than he loves me. Possibly. <laughs> Depending he got this on the. For free. Where'd you get this at work? I used to work in a. Um, it was a Redkin hair uh, distribution facility. Oh, we're back. We're back. Uh, and uh, I, I worked there, and basically it's like uh, beauty salons from all over the, the area would say they wanted all these products. And I would go in the warehouse and pull out the products and then put them in a box, and I'd uh, tape everything up. But also in the warehouse, the guy who owned it, uh, stored all his junk and this popped up one day and it was his wife's grandfather's radio and they didn't want it in the house anymore and then I just fell in love with it and I go wow that is amazing and he goes well you want it and I was like yeah we've had this thing since we were married before, before we were married I got that back in uh probably the early 90s um I thought it was pretty cool I always thought it was cool. yeah it's a 1937 12 tube uh, radio and it's just it's I love it and he finally lets me put stuff on it well there I'm, was a time where he wouldn't let me put anything on top I'm of it. very cautious because he puts plants on top of it and you know what but plants do in. yeah they uh, and the cats have jumped on it our various yeah, they cats scratched it. as they jump off because they're so if there's stuff on it I'll keep them from jumping on it oh, I is just that why you allow it <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that it's just and but she has these doily things underneath it to at least no, hopefully they're, the they're cork cork, cork so bark. hopefully they'll protect the the cork, finish cork something not cork bark. cork well, it's cork bark is that's it? what cork oh, okay. is is bark. is bark yeah you want to plug it in yeah I'll plug let's it see in. if it works okay or if i get electrocuted i guess we'll find out Ooh, that should make for that good would entertainment. Uh, that would be great now it does have a crack here that it's, was fixed at one plugged time in. all right it didn't explode <sighs> here we go i'm gonna pull it out Turned it all the way down so it does. We don't get blasted. Okay. I heard something. That was the on. Oh, we're all the way up, and I'm not hearing anything right now. <laughs> I may have to open up the back. I bought it really as a display. 
Ah, that is plugged in. Oh, I'm David Kale. It's an old radio. And what do old radios do? They take a while to warm up. You gotta wait for the tubes to warm up. How cool. But it's AM only, of course, because this is... Well, we don't want music. And apparently there's been a lot of things going on throughout their life. Apparently. So it works. Yay! If there's just, like, tunes, you could... But now look at the color. You see why I like it. <laughs> it's pink. It's pink. It didn't actually show really. That it has a little yeah. crack. It's in good shape except for this. Uh, it got hit here, but it got reglued. Who cares? Yeah, I paid seven ninety nine. I was gonna look them up. I I'll think I looked them up. Yeah, I don't wanna. We're it just... might start smoking. I know it's not gonna start smoking. But I'll take this in the bath with me later. Uh, Take it in the bathroom later? <laughs> for what? In a bathtub. Oh, uh, so I can listen to it while I'm in the bathtub. <laughs> At you. Uh, but, um, yeah, she's already... She's, we're going to wash it anyway. Yeah, she, Nora is laying on the spider sweatshirt. Yes, the one that we're going to wash. So yeah. she has discovered that that is a nice one. <laughs> she, she loves to do that. She does. All right. Uh, so anyway, that was the cool thing I picked up. Uh, I think it's, uh, if, I look, if I remember, they were like... 60 or 70 in that range. I couldn't believe it when you came to me with that. When I saw I don't that. find cool stuff like that anymore. It's it's finding old Especially at the Goodwill. At the Goodwill. And there's so much competition. We see the same people there all the time. Right. There's these young guys that are there. There's the whistler. The whistler. Like, <laughs> there's a guy called we call him the whistler. Yeah, we call him the whistler. Because all he does is whistle. And he doesn't whistle I think it's, he doesn't whistle to the music no, playing in the no. shop. No, he whistles to the music up here, but it's usually not a song. It's just like, <laughs> like really loud. Is it uh, always the same tune? No, it changes. Oh, it changes. It does change. But it's just so it drowns out shopping. the music. <laughs> I'll be shopping and I'll get a text. The whistler. And he's like all over <laughs> the place. Derek will spot him first. He seems like a nice guy. Yeah. Uh, I mean, he's, he's always not, smiling he and stuff. He to be crazy. I mean, anyone who whistles is probably in a good mood, you know? It's like, you know... <laughs> and we see him all over, like, different towns. Different towns, different yeah. Cities. He's a professional... He's a professional thrifter. Uh, but he's always whistling. And I just... It's, it's like... Oh. <laughs> and the music's annoying enough yeah. than the whistling. Well, thing. yeah, because he's competing with the music. Right, it's so it's like, like... Your brain is just like... Ugh. And I'm trying to, like, look for stuff and use my brain. Anyway, that's... <laughs> There's, you see a lot of the same people, and yeah. when, if you start, if you're a thrifter, uh, you'll you'll notice the same people over and over again. Uh, and of course, the people that work there, they'll start to notice you too. Oh yeah, they know. Yeah, they they're know always us. they're fist bumping us. And, <laughs> hey, <laughs> good to see you. Yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, we we're well known <laughs> at the stores we haunt. I think we're familiar looking, maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Anyway, anyway. That's, that's that. <laughs> so let's talk about the most ridiculous items of Yay! the week. Can we do that? Can we throw the of the week in there? Sure. <laughs> Makes it seem a little more something or another. You threw me for a second. <laughs> I know. The most ridiculous item. The most ridiculous item. Who's going first? Um, <clears throat> either or. Either or. Okay, so are we going to show the video and talk over the video? Because I did not record audio with mine. I did not either. So, okay, so we'll do that. But we won't talk long because we probably don't have I hours. I <clears throat> Sorry. We'll leave that in. <laughs> uh, so uh, first up, let's show yours. Okay. So mine is silly. Mine's a silly. It's the most ridiculous item. Okay, so this is a candle and... I guess you have to know who Andy Cohen is to to really find this ridiculous and funny. So, so what is he famous for? Real Housewives of. He's famous. If you really want me to tell you the Andy Cohen story, sure, we'll, go ahead. we'll stop. Uh, <laughs> he was head of Bravo, uh, the TV show, the, the station, the, network? The, the network, and he wanted to be on camera. And so he started uh, being on, he said, hey, I'm going to be on camera. And of course, he's the head of it, so nobody said no. And he did his little talk show thing and talked about like the Real Housewives and everything like that. And then it kind of, people started watching it and it became, and it got bigger and bigger. And pretty much he stopped being the head of Bravo and became kind of talent. Uh, and so he's, 
he's a personality. He didn't actually do anything. He doesn't act. Mm -hmm. He doesn't sing. Mm -hmm. He does. He, he's entertaining though. So. So anyway, so should we go back to the video? Let's go back to the video. <laughs> <laughs> so I saw this candle and I was like, instantly I was like, okay, this is a most ridiculous item. So I don't know. You just look at the video and what else can I say about it? It's just. What would you put around it though? I so don't you have know. it on the and altar. You ha I, well, it's, it's, is it for Hanukkah? It says mazel. What is mazel? I know Probably that's mazel Jewish, but, yeah. but what does that mean? Like, I don't know. I don't know. I'd have to look it up, but. Anyway, I guess if you're a huge Andy Cohen fan, you would have this candle. And it's similar to something you discovered you discovered yes. that you didn't know you discovered. Yes. So when I was watching a video, oh, when we were at the Salvation Army and I was taking you through the Salvation Army, and then we came to that hummingbird, like bud vase thing, to the right to the right of it was another similar candle, <laughs> but it had Kenny Rogers and Dolly Parton on it. So this is Can it, you freeze frame that? Can you I can probably it? find it, yes. So hopefully you can see. Derek will show you. This is a thing, I guess. Of of celebrity, celebrity candles? candles. They're they're the you know, the Mother Mary or the yeah, Jesus candles. Tall, tall. Yeah, the, the the thin glass candles. Although the Kenny Rogers Dolly Parton looked handmade. It did look handmade. But it's still yeah. it's a thing. It is. It so, can be, hey, ridiculous items can be handmade, yeah. homemade. Well, a lot of your ridiculous, I mean, your frog. Oh, terracotta creature. <laughs> yeah, that was handmade. <laughs> yeah, that was handmade. There's not some, <laughs> some place it's not manufactured. selling those. Right. Uh, yeah. So that's my... That is... My Andy Cohen candle. Andy Cohen candle. Mine is... Um, I'm not sure how to put it. If it's food related or if it's book related or if it's silly related <laughs> i saw it and i was like what is this and it's taco bookends so if you're really into tacos and, and i'm sure there are people who are really into tacos and this would be great in your kitchen you know if yeah. you had like a bunch of mexican uh cookbooks, cookbooks you know and that's what i was thinking what does tacos have to do with that's books? the only thing i think is like if, if it's cookbooks. cookbooks it was like the, all your mexican cookbooks were there and you had two taco to hold it together. That would be kind of cute. That's Yeah, it would. But it's, it's ridiculous. Kitschy. It's very kitschy. Yeah. But it's it is ridiculous. Yeah. I mean, obviously. I mean, look at the tacos. Aren't they don't mean they're cartoon tacos. Uh, but <laughs> they're, they're hard shell tacos. They're hard shell tacos. <laughs> <laughs> they're hard shell tacos. Now, again, these items we did not purchase. We no. just saw them because they're ridiculous and we can't have ridiculous items all over the place. Uh, oh, in our house. In our house. Yeah, we didn't buy them. So that's our ridiculous items this week. Andy Cohen candle or taco bookends. Yes. So you decide which one do you think is the most ridiculous this week, and we will let you know on the next video who won the most ridiculous item. Yeah. Yay. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I believe we have shown everything, right? Yeah, and I think so. And, um, oh, well, you're, well, they saw your yeah, mug. Yeah, we talked about that. You remember, we saw yeah, his, yeah, his the mug. mug, Russell's uh, ham yeah. famous hamburgers. Right, but that wasn't for sale. Anyway. Yeah, no. Uh, that was just for... A gift. A gift. Um, so um, we have shown everything. Again, if you see anything on this you like or in past videos, watch our past videos because watch a couple of them because there's stuff that's a couple back are probably on eBay right now just because it takes us a while to get everything on there. Uh, I have to go back to doing it. That's I what I'm going to do when I'm done here. I'm headed back to go list. So uh, our links are in the description to go to our eBay stuff. Uh, vote on the most ridiculous item. Uh, thank you for subscribing. If you have, uh, I wish you would subscribe if you haven't. Uh, Me too. And then uh, thanks for all the comments. We really appreciate all that stuff, and uh, we try to answer every single one. Um, and anything else? No, that's it. I think that's it for this week or this video. Yeah, this video. This video, yeah. <laughs> Not this week. It's a new week. It is In a new this week. video, it's a new week. Or Sunday, the end of the week. Well, I mean, we're filming on Sunday, but, but it's not they're going to watch Tuesday. it on Tuesday. Right, that's true. So, so that's the beginning of the week. We shouldn't even say what day this is. So you guys, I hope you are having a fabulous week. I hope your Monday went great. Yeah, and <laughs> we'll see you on Friday. Bye. Bye-bye.